Awesome. So we are absolutely live on Facebook, which is really cool because I've never done a Facebook live call. Um, this is Sabrina tuning in um, and doing an inside scoop on the five day authentic confidence challenge. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to head over to the group and make sure that I'm letting you know that I'm on. As I said, you guys are going to have to come to my private page by the looks of things, my Facebook wall, and join me. And of course, if there's anyone else there that wants to join me as well, you can do that. Um, and it's also going to give me an opportunity to to let you guys join me and say hi and obviously I'll be seeing comments so if you are live make sure that you're there otherwise I'm going to be talking to myself or talking at you um, hey Patty hey Miss Universe super excited to have you on here um, and I'm live okay cool come and join me letting everybody know you can come over onto my Facebook wall and hang out in the call hey Miss Universe super excited to have you here on the inside scoop of the five day authentic confidence challenge which I'm going to talk about and sh share with you what it's about what's been going down which is really exciting and lots of women are going absolutely nuts for more confidence which let's face it that's what it's all about right um, join me on clearly we can't really do things at the same time on my private cool all right awesome so I'm here I have no idea how this works oh my god okay cool nice one all right so um, if you join if you tuned in basically we are running a five-day authentic confidence challenge which kicked off uh, in the US Monday the 14th which is for me today uh, you guys in Australia that's already yesterday um, we've had tons of women join up which is unbelievable it's been absolutely mind-blowing to have so many women uh, join and say yes to stepping into their brave um, as we know like if you want to have uh, a more successful business hey Amy um, if you want to have a successful business make more money doing what you love if you want to have thriving relationships, whether you want to have relationships, better relationships with yourself, with your partners, or as Ms. Universe would say, if you want to have better relationships in the bedroom, aka our sex and intimacy coach, you must check her out. She's also going to be on the Confidence Project, the summit that's going to be running next month, so just giving you a little shout out. Um, but yeah, if you want more confidence in you know all areas of life, I call this you know literally being an authentic badass who is fiercely authentic with no fuck given hey ladies I wonder if everyone else can see the comments I'm not sure so if you can see the comments comments that you say to each other then that would be cool which is awesome so you know if you have any questions along the call today make sure I have no idea how long we're going for um, I just want to give you the inside scoop on what's been happening talk about some of the technical stuff um, but also talk about some of the feedback that I've been getting and talk a little bit more clear about more clarity because that what is it's all about hey miss Annabelle nice to have you on the call as well um, it seems like my Aussie friends are joining on board, which is cool. Um, what time is it for you? I'm trying to think. I believe it's 10, 10 a.m. in the morning. Hey, Melissa, nice to see you too. Um, so yeah, so basically, if you haven't joined and you don't know what it's all about, I'm going to see if I can add the link onto the call afterwards. Um, but it's basically five days of raw love from my end. Uh, we're going to be talking, thank you for that, um, it's my first time so it's kind of exciting and no idea what I'm really doing. Um, and yeah, it's really about stepping into your brain, figuring out what it takes for you in order to truly step into your brave and that is that realize, realizing that success is truly not about how much you do but it is about who you are um, I know from previous experience obviously running my own coaching business online also being worked with involved with a direct selling company having seen massive success that you know we can get so overwhelmed doing the do and showing up every single day and hustling and doing more and doing more and we can get actually really stuck um, <laughs> that's awesome but it's binged and I'm on your screen well that's awesome um, and we can get stuck in overwhelm and it can feel like we get so frustrated doing the do and not actually seeing the results that we truly after and as I said I truly believe it's because success is not actually about how much you do it's certainly you need to do the hustle you need to actually show up um, thanks Julie for letting me know at 11 o'clock I will get the time difference right but I will notice that and I will let you know that yesterday we had a time change in the US and our clocks changed forward which kind of put my head completely different space and tomorrow 
tomorrow I'm off to Phoenix and that's going to be a completely different time zone and then next week I'm going to be in Germany so anyway it's a first world problem um, but as I've been saying with success is um, it's not about how much you do but it is about who you are and I've certainly been on that journey myself um, for me really stepping into you know being my you know being my best version being an authentic badass and if you know anything about me I generally don't give a fuck what people think um, I'm truly aware of my purpose what I want to do what I want to achieve I'm so focused on the goals that I want to create not only in my business but also in my relationships in my friendships in my in terms of my money in terms of my health um, which is super super important and then it's really the question about um, not you know um, what do you need to do but who do you need to become worthy of all the success that you truly want right so basically on that note um, having had lots of amazing feedback women sharing with me that you know yes I would love to do more and they would like to step outside their comfort zone but really fear is holding them back um, I don't know if it's paused but I hopefully everyone else can keep seeing me make sure that you keep me a thumbs up I can see that it's running so it should be working um, Melissa so let me know um, and so as I said the feedback that I've been getting is saying that you know what like I totally hear you I totally love what you stand for you you know you show up um, exactly the same whether I stand on stage in front of thousands of people share my message to my talk or whether I'm on Facebook whether I'm out drinking having fun like I'm just me um, and um, it, it took me a while to get there because I know that for a while you know I've been hiding thinking that I had to show up a certain way and you know being vulnerable is like a whole another thing um, awesome thanks Julie um, and that being vulnerable is like a whole another thing and you don't want to be vulnerable because that could be you know perceived as weak so anyway based on the feedback that I've been getting I thought well what would be the most valuable gift that I could give to you right now and and you know I just wanted to pack in a whole lot of uh, knowledge and um, you know tasks and resources and tools but more so really kick out strategies on how to step you know outside your comfort zone and so that's why I created the five-day authentic confidence challenge um, if you haven't seen it make sure that you definitely do check it out um, and you know day one we've kicked off with a couple of emails and we've of course had some technical issues because that's always the way so for some reason we you know we were due to send out the emails and there was two emails on day one and you got the second one first and not the first one but anyway I've been getting feedback saying hey that bonus video is really awesome I was like well it would be even more awesome huh? yeah I don't know if that's a word if you actually would get the first one can it kind of make sense but day one um, is all about uh, clarity right so let's talk about clarity and you know I had a really cool coaching call that I kind of thought was really inspiring me to to kind of chat to you about today and basically talking about yes we kind of have an idea of what we want like yes we want to have more money we want to be healthier we want to have sexy bodies we want to have great friends we want to have like a soulmate coming into our life and you know we want everything to be awesome but the thing is do we really have the clarity of what it is specifically of what it is that you want and have you truly taken the time to map it out and I'm not talking about some wishy-washy goals um, of saying yes more money and being you know shit hot but being specific and that most of the time lets people down because everybody can tell me what they want more of uh, but no one can be really specific and even give me like a time frame and I'm not saying like okay five years from now even though if you, you can have a five-year plan but I'm talking you know what are the what are, what's the goal for you know this year like have you broken out down in 90 days where do you want to go and really specific if you want to make money how much money do you want to make you know where's the money going to come from what programs you're going to be launching what sort of you know offers you're going to be putting out how many sales conversations you're going to have what how many uh, networking conversations you're going to have you know where you're going to be out there putting yourself out there in the online space in the offline space you know if you want to be healthier well what does that look like to you what does it mean to you to be healthy healthy and thriving if you want to lose weight well I would never go by oh, I want to weigh 60 kilos on the scale because I actually hate having you know defining um, your your confidence and your your body by what you weigh on the scale but rather what is it going to give you and that's the whole point of clarity is that you you almost have to move away from the whole um, what it is that you want but really take a, a step further and talk about why you want it but also why you, what do you want to get out of it right um, especially in my days when I was to, um, working with you know PT clients and then working the psychology of weight loss and working with women around the relationship to food hey Hillary hey Amanda super cool you're here actually talking about my PT days you used to be one of my PT clients back in the days which seems like 
forever and ever and ever ago. Um, the, the problem is that I've realized that we get so focused on what we look like and, you know, all we want to do is like get another meal plan and get another workout plan instead of actually getting to the crux of what it is, like to the crux of, you know, your body image issues, to the crux of your relationship to food, um, but also what it is that you want to get out of looking shit hot. Yes, of course, we all want to be rocking um, a bikini. We all want to be able to put, you know, a piece of clothing on and, and look great, but it's more than that. And I'd say 99.9% .9 it's about wanting to feel confident in yourself right you want to have more authentic confidence that means you want to feel confident enough to you know to have more to do more to achieve more um, and because let's say in the weight loss industry you know your weight could be a reason that it's holding you back awesome Melissa's back um, Hi, Tiran. Hey, honey, all the way from NZ. Um, as I said, because we're live, it's awesome for you to guys, you know, for you guys to listen to me. And by all means, I'm just going to keep sharing and doing a little chit chat and talk about clarity and confidence and what have you not. Um, but obviously, this is for you. So you make sure that you guys are absolutely um, asking me questions, and we can do a little Q and A, especially for those that have signed up the, for the challenge. Um, so that's kind of like the whole point why we're doing the training and the calls, the live calls. Um, but as I said, like with looking to lose weight, it's never, never about just being able to put a piece of clothing on, um, but it is about confidence, okay? And so, as I said, confidence is like one of the main things that's holding you back, and clarity is super, super important, and that is literally what we talked about in day one. Um, Another thing in terms of clarity, if you're not, you know, if you're doing the challenge and you're kind of stuck on the exercise today, I've talked about turning your um, excuses into your reasons why. So if you, first of all, if you're still stuck actually on the whole clarity part and really figuring out, you know, why you want more confidence in your life, what um, is it that, you know, com not having confidence is holding you back in, in your life, whether it's in your business, whether it's in your relationships, whether it's about, um, you know, stepping outside your comfort zone and finally sticking to, you know, your nutritional lifestyle and then smashing yourself at the gym until you get your desired shit hot body. Um, but if you're not really sure to what that truly looks like to have that exact clarity, you know, the specificity, specific, I can never say that word to be specific. I can never say that word. Actually, I said it today once. Um, then a really good tip would be um, to make a list um, of exactly, you know, all the things that are in, you know, not working for you right now um, that you feel is holding you back. Hey, Nikki, I've just seen Christine, Christina Bito. I think she wants to come on board too. So if anyone's in the group, do you want to come and send her over onto my wall so can, she can join the group as well? Um, but you can make a list of all... Hang on, I'm back. I'll be back. Um, all the things that are holding you back, all the things that you're feeling um, that confidence is literally holding you back. So make a list of, you know, what are you not having in your life right now? What are you not doing right now? Because you're not being that authentic confidence version of yourself that is truly aligned to who you are and literally has your butt into gear and knows exactly what you want. So if you want to make a list of all the things, you can do that and then literally rewrite it and reframe it as, okay, cool, well, if I have, if I don't have this, well, how would I want it instead? And that usually should give you a really good indication of where you want to head, right? Um, and it's really like, I mean, everyone's got a dream, right? Like, let's be real. Like, who's never been sitting there daydreaming um, of all the things that we want to do and all the places we want to travel to, right? Like, Annabelle, I know you're all about the travel, and so am I. Hence, I'm lo like a location-free hustler doing my thing. Um, but we all have a dream. Like, we've all been sitting there um, sipping a glass of wine or, you know, talking to our girlfriends about all the things that we would be doing if we could. And actually, you know, like, you may think that money's holding you back, but honestly... It's not just the money. There she is. Hey, Christina. Hey, Matt. Awesome to have some guys on the call. So, hey, you know what? I feel like probably some a dose of good confidence for guys is not so bad neither, especially when it's authentic confidence, not just some badass confidence. Um, but, you know, we've all had that dream of thinking, like, what we would do if we had, like, a million dollars, like, if we had all the money in the world. And by all means, you know what? Yes, money helps by all means. Money makes things a lot easier. Um, but... 
it's not about that. It's about what you want to get out of it. And, and, you know, and another way of looking at it is like, what's the legacy you want to leave behind? Like, what do you want to be known for? Like, what's the contribution you want to be um, impacting the world with? And at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be as ridiculous. Um, thanks, honey. It doesn't have to be as ridiculous as me, um, who like genuinely, genuinely wants to make a massive fucking impact around the world and, and be like a next generation thought provoking leader and internationally, you know, sharing the stages with other kickers, um, visionaries and leaders and making an impact. But it could be your, you know, your level of contribution could be like to be the best mum or to be the best friend or to have a secure income or to have enough freedom, um, to have and to do the things that you want. But regardless of what it is that you want, it always comes back that if you want to have more, if you want to do more, you have to be more. Okay? It will always come back to the inner journey. It always come back, come, comes back to the inner work. And that's obviously what the confidence challenge is all about. Um, you know, let's talk about inner work. Um, inner work is literally the thing between your ears, right? You can call it mindset work, you can do it. inner work, you can call it whatever, it's not some hoo-hoo. Um, it is literally, you know, changing. A lot of the time is um, helping you change your perspective on things, um, turning, you know, problems into possibilities, um, broadening your comfort zone so that literally you, you know, you, you grow as a person, um, but it's also dealing with your shit, okay? Like literally everyone's got some shit and um, as I said, I was talking to a client today um, about our shit or like our story and um, we've been talking about like how we want to be inspiring others with our story because quite frankly, isn't it all about inspiration and making an impact and building relationships and, and, and sharing with them how to be happy and healthy and make more money and so forth. And um, she was saying to me about, well, you know what, I, I, I kind of have a bit of a conflict in terms of getting that clarity, you know, what it is that I truly want based on who do I need to become because I feel that my story um, isn't so bad. Like my life was kind of okay growing up. And um, I remember the conversation I had with Annabelle, if you're actually still on the call, about talking about that, yes, like we all have a story. We all have some sort of shit. And, and I use shit as a metaphor because, you know, yes, you can have like a, the most terrific childhood. And by all, need, by all means, if you know anything about, you know, my story, my childhood, it was anything but nice. Um, in fact, like I always say, if you know the, the Kiwi, the New Zealand movie, uh, Once We Were Warriors, then you have an idea of, you know, what my childhood looked like until the age of eight, until I decided that I needed to get out of there. And I told my mom, I love you, but I'm going to go and live with dad. Um, hey, Hillary, nice to have you on as well um, and um, yes it, it doesn't have to be as horrific as my childhood but again like by all means like yes my childhood wasn't great and you know there was lots of yucky things and I know now, like definitely working with clients that there's, you know, women who've had much more horrific experiences as me. Uh, and then there are women who don't have such bad experiences and don't have any sexual abuse or verbal abuse or mental abuse or, you know, they were kind of actually okay. But the thing is that like there is no such thing as a functional family life. There is no one, honestly, like I've met a shitload of people and I like talking. So I talk to a lot of people and I'm really curious about people and their story. And obviously coaching my clients, I have not met um, a single person that literally has got a functional family life. So that means that everyone's got something that's been happening, whether it's, you know, you guys moved around a lot, whether it's maybe you struggle for money, maybe mom and dad got divorced and, you know, daddy got a new, you know, boyfriend or girlfriend, um, maybe you were like the middle child and you didn't get on with your younger sister, all this is, I mean, there's something like, you know, maybe you didn't have the best friends in school or maybe your first boyfriend cheated on you with, you know, your best friend, like we've all have something. And so going back to my shit metaphor, um, it's, it's the fact that like we all have some sort of shit. And if you know anything of shit, shit still stinks. Yeah. Um, again, I've never met anyone whose shit smells roses. So everyone's got some shit. It still stings and translating it into mindset and beliefs and stories and values and what you think about yourself it comes down to uh, on on some conscious most of the time unconscious level that you don't feel that you're worthy that you don't feel that you're good enough right um by all means i i know i've walked the path i've had to dig deep to kind of get rid of my own bullshit um and it led me to you know have a little um tattoo which is perfect timing for you dave to join me as i'm flashing my tattoo hi dave i'll be seeing you in a couple of days hey emily and everyone else that joined remember if you want to ask some questions make sure you do that um 
on anything in terms of confidence and, and clarity. And if you're doing the challenge, if you don't do the challenge, you know, if you want to share some feedback or want to ask me anything else um, that I can, you know, answer answer you today. Um, but yeah, like I certainly had to go through that as well. That realizing that um, it is more than enough that I am. Hey, Shell. Hopefully, you're sitting there having a coffee on our behalf. Um, and that's it. That's my metaphor in terms of shit. So if you just joined the call, I was just talking about shit, which is epic. Um, but giving you guys a metaphor that it doesn't matter what it is that you want more of in your life. If you, you know, if you want more travel, if you want more money, um, if you want to have better quality relationships, if you want to drive nicer cars, to have bigger houses, um, whatever it is, um, you're so funny, Shell. I can tell you. Um, then it's never about the how to in terms of what you do, but it's always about you in terms of who you need to become. And that's obviously means you have to, you know, take an honest look in the mirror and do the inner work. And as I said, with inner work, um, um, there are no such thing as functional lives, uh, no such thing as functional family lives. We all have something, we've all had experiences, bad experiences that on some form, um, on some level makes us feel that we're not worthy enough, that we're not good enough and that we're not deserving enough. Um, and that is just common in, in all of us and in some of us more and some of us others. Um, you may already be super successful, but you may struggle to up level to the next level, maybe already having a thriving business, but you want to crack um, the six figure or multiple six figure um, and then again, it's up leveling. It's always stepping up to find out how you can grow more as a person. Um, how can you make your butt look sexy? I, my shall honestly, my my answer would be do lots of lunges, lots of squats, lots of deadlifts, which I know that you're already doing. And yes, definitely when I come back to Oz, we're going to have a coffee chat, um, which is actually really exciting because on a side note, totally off the topic. Uh, Today is the 14th of March, so I left exactly five months ago. Um, I left Oz to start a new chapter as a location-free hustler, um, and uh, it's been a hell of a ride. I'm in Florida right now as we speak. Um, just spent five weeks in New York and was freezing my ass off, literally. Um, and tomorrow off to Phoenix to an amazing retreat where I get spoiled and treated, um, catching up with lots of friends. Thanks, Matthew. Um, and then attending uh, the Juice Plus conference, which no doubt is going to be epic. Um, and since I've uh, achieved the NND position, I get to do my speech, which is really cool. And I think it's only about 8,000 people. But you know me, I don't mind talking in front of one person or in front of thousands of people. So that's going to be really Really fun um, and then I'm off to Germany it's gonna be cold again anyway um, five months today I left so which is kind of cool like to me it feels a lot longer but obviously I know my friends and you know are missing me and definitely I've been missing you guys um, but I mean that's sort of you know roughly what I want to talk to you about about clarity so I don't know if you want to have any questions um, if you want to ask me anything if you're not doing the challenge you may be just a little bit confused what I'm talking about but basically you know to to wrap it up um, we've been talking about me launching the five-day authentic confidence challenge and today is officially the first day for the US. Obviously, you, the Aussies, they started already yesterday. Uh, feedback's been coming in. Um, we've had some technical issues, as you always do, but I think everyone's got their emails. And from what I can tell, um, in our group, certainly the interaction is going off. Um, women are actually being fucking vulnerable. Would you believe it? And they're okay with being fucking vulnerable. And what's even better is that I, I don't even like have to respond, respond because like I'm seeing all the other women, you know, respond and, you know, really cheering each other on. And it just goes to show that, you know, we as women um, and as men, definitely though as women, we really need to raise each other up um, and not pull each other down. Um, so, yeah, so the confidence challenge is up and running, um, getting amazing feedback. And as part of it, I've said I'm going to do like a, a, a daily call um, talking about a specific topic. And today is all about clarity, figuring out um, if you're doing a challenge, obviously, why you're here what you want to get out of it, really realizing and understanding how confidence is holding you back. And I'm really talking about authentic confidence and not some, excuse my French, fucking fake ass confident, uh, confidence, which comes back to, you know, doing the do because you think that's what it's expected of you. Um, you know, showing up in 
a way that you think you should be doing, saying things that you think you should be doing, putting posts up that you think you should be doing, and, and that's all about head stuff, okay? So that's not real. Um, it really, true authentic confidence comes to shifting from head into your heart. And I love that because, quite frankly, once you get super, super clear on what it is that you truly want, um, you back it up with why you want it and really ask yourself, you know, who it is that you need to become on that journey so that you can have it all. Well, then that's when you get conviction. That's when you, you know, step into your brave. That's when you full heartedly believe in what you, what it is that you stand for. Um, and you literally shift from, shift from your head to your heart. And when that happens, when you shift into your heart, um, honestly, you're speaking the truth and no one can mess with that. And so you don't have to think about what you say. Like I've not prepared um, what I'm going to say. You know, I knew that I want to talk about clarity. I want to share about the challenge, what's been going on and just seeing what comes up. And, and that's because like, first of all, I believe in the challenge and know how epic it is. The feedback's been amazing, but I also just trust in myself knowing that whatever comes out is exactly what needs to come out, right? Um, so on that note, if you don't have any questions, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, but I will leave you with one more thing because I was talking about the bonus video. Um, and that is, and you can apply that literally in any area of your life. If you've got some goals and you feel like you're not being able to achieve them. Um, so once you've got the clarity on what it is that you truly want and why you want it, what it's going to give you on an emotional level, um, on a spiritual level. So again, it's not just on the external, but internal level. Hey honey, um, it's figuring out, okay, how can you now close the gap? And before you even think about, oh my God, what do I need to do? Like, how do I need to step up every single day? How do I need to break out of my comfort zone? How do I get more conviction? Um, how do I get that confidence to stop thinking about what other people think about me um, a really cool exercise what you guys can do is literally make a list of all the excuses that you have so write down all the excuses um, as many as you can think of like if you could come up with ten that would be awesome but you can have five six seven whatever there's no right no wrong it is what it is right um, make a list of all the excuses of why you think you know, you cannot have the confidence or you cannot achieve um, your particular goal that it is that you want to have. Um, most of the time people say, I don't, you know, don't have enough time. I don't have enough money, don't have the resources, don't have energy. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know. Um, you know, you could come up obviously with millions of excuses, but I want you to pick your 10 excuses. And then what I want you to do is I want you to actually take your excuses and turn them into reasons why success is an absolute must. Yeah. It's a non-negotiable. So again, write down why you think you can't do it, why you think you're going to fail, why you think confidence is holding you back from getting what it is you truly want based on your head, uh, based on your heart, not on your head. Um, and then turn your excuses into reasons why success is a must. And I say must with volition because as Tony Robbins says, like we shoulda, coulda, woulda, but we didn't, or we should, you know, we shoulda, woulda, coulda, or shoulda all over ourselves, but we don't end up doing it. And I want you to look at the excuses and totally reframe them as your reasons why. And um, in particular, for mums who and dads out there who say that their kids are the reason or the excuse that they don't have enough time to you know go to the gym or get up earlier or make a few phone calls or do whatever it takes right like i don't know if you've heard something about stolen moments like everyone's got some stolen moments and by all means you can get so much more done in like 20 25 minutes focused attention with no distractions no facebook no messages no kids no nothing um then most people can get done an hour or two or three or four um but then i as I said, I want you to take your excuses um, and turn them into reasons why. So really, I would look at your kids and I would ask yourself, like, isn't your kid or aren't your kids like the exact reason why you're here on this journey? Like, aren't you striving to be the best mother, the best father, um, the best teacher, the best role model? Um, then surely your kids are not your excuse anymore. Like, they're actually your fuel. So that's a really cool exercise that you can do. Um, on that note, as I said, I'm going to put it out to you one more, guys. If you want to ask me a question, anything that you can think of anything you want to find out you want to ask me um, then now is your chance or you're going to have to wait until tomorrow obviously I'm going to be doing the calls um, at different times just because I'm in different time zones and I've got a lot of other things going on um, maybe I can find some of my friends who want to jump in and share some messages because I'm going to be hanging out with some really really kick-ass people who are super successful um, because you know they're showing up they have the clarity they have the confidence they have the conviction they have the consistency 
and they still you know come over stumble blocks you know they still hit obstacles but it's about uh you know not how many times you fell but how many times you get up so i'm going to wait for a couple of seconds mm. ask me <coughs> ask me anything otherwise i'm going to call this a wrap which is cool half an hour of talking at you hopefully it was valuable what else can i tell you if you don't know what the challenge is about i'm going to say one more time i'm going to pop a link <coughs> into I've been talking a lot today. Sorry, lots of coaching clients. Not a lot of shouting, actually, which is unlike me. Um, but um, if you just joined the call, which is epic for you that you joined the call, um, and it's awesome to see some familiar faces. Having said that, I'm literally about to wrap up, but I believe that this call is now on my wall, and you can watch it again. Take a couple of nuggets um, implemented, because remember, knowledge is not about actually, uh, a power is not about knowledge, but it is about putting your knowledge into action, right? So whatever you've learned, I want you to, ooh, I want you to implement it. Um, scared the shit out of me. Uh, I want you to implement it. And then even better, go and teach it someone else, okay? So don't be selfish. We're here to create a movement, a confidence movement. So if you've learned anything tonight, um, make sure that you implement it so it feels good, and then go and teach it somewhere else and in, in someone else not somewhere someone somewhere else um, and that's how we're going to create ripples if you do find that you listen to the call at a later time um, and there's something that you know was unsure that you're not 100 percent sure and you want to ask me then by all means send me a dm that stands for direct message a little bit cooler than pm um, I've just seen Taos, thank you so much for popping the link into the comment section. So if you don't know what the challenge is about and you're kind of like, hey, it kind of sounds cool, I want to know more, um, then by all means you can come um thanks honey um then you can definitely you know join the challenge it's not too late it's a five-day challenge we've kicked off today it's for you today yesterday in australia um and it's until friday and then next week of course we're going to have a confidence party um where you can join but you have to join the challenge if you want to be a part of it um because we're getting naked i'm kidding we're not getting naked maybe i'm getting naked no i'm not getting naked no that would be bad right um but we're having a party and we might even have a drink because we like to do that. So I'm going to have a bubbles and celebrate all the women who said yes to more authentic confidence. Um, and on that note, thank you so much for hanging out. That was my first uh, Facebook Live call. Um, it's kind of cool. Yes, awesome. That's cool, Amy. Make sure you know the videos that you've got. Obviously, you can re-watch them as well. I've had someone tell me this morning she watched the first video like six times over. Um, she said, like, I like the way that you spoke really clear in terms of what you're trying to convey, the message. There wasn't like any complicated no like words or uh, complicated uh, yeah, what you call it, uh, processes, but kept it really real. And she's like, it made sense, but I literally just needed to listen to it like six times over again and make notes and absolutely clicked. And, you know, she was super excited. So she's working with me in my new intensive called the um, Unshank Unshakable Authentic Confidence, which I'll tell you about at some stage as well. But yeah, so thanks for hanging out. Um, I really am grateful. Melissa, you must have lost the connection, but super happy that you've come back. If you've got questions, again, make sure that you DM me. Um, apart from that, I'm going to go and pack my bags and get ready for a long day tomorrow. I'm going to be, I think, in transit for about nine hours to get my butt from this side of America to all the way to the other side. But hey, that's cool. It's a first world problem. And then I look forward to either tune in from one of the airports or I may be tuning in from Phoenix. So either way i'll be tuning in tomorrow and i look forward to talk to you tomorrow and tomorrow we're going to talk about courage right courage talking about feeling the fear and doing it anyway so on that note i'm going to love you and leave you peace out to everyone that hang out and make sure you join me tomorrow um, i'll be announcing it so you can join or not up to you and um, i'll talk to you soon bye for now